Yo, shout out to my boy Marcus Jordan, man. My boy over here, he was caught doing cocaine. Apparently, he's like in Greece. He got some new supermodel girlfriend after him and, you know, Scottie Pippen's leftover didn't work out. You know, he was with Larsa, you know, and after, you know, he finally got done with that. Supposedly, Michael Jordan had said, bruv. Nigga, I got to go to Hall of Fame ceremonies. Nigga, I'm selling like $15 billion a year in Jordans. Why is the... There's so much pussy in the world, my brother. Why are you fucking my my disgruntled teammate? Ex-wife, bro. Like, what's up with you? Mar Marcus Jordan is, is like... We, we got to create a list, people, of the biggest losers that were born with a silver spoon in their mouth. No diddy. Bruv, you know how much of a reject and a fucking loser you got to be to be Michael Jordan's son and just fuck it up. Like, as bad as things, Diddy's sons, they be keeping it swagged out. They be looking cool. Like, they be trying to do their own little thing. They be chilling. They don't, They their very existence isn't to fuck up Diddy's legacy. Diddy did that on his own. Marcus Jordan. He's up there with crack smoking Joe Biden's son. What's that nigga's name? What's Joe Biden's son? The one that be smoking all that crack? Like, you're on that list, my guy. What, what's that guy's name? You know who I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Hunter Biden. It's like the all-time loser list. Like the niggas who were born with the billion-dollar trust funds. You got the key to the whole wide world. What are you going to do? My nigga, like, first of all, half of the, like, all of these things have one thing in common. Loser mentality. They couldn't live up to their fathers. You know, a son want to, you know, they want to walk in their father's, like, footsteps. You're, if your father was an astronaut, you're going to like space. That's usually what it is. You get what I'm saying? You even want to be better than him or you want to be as great as him, Right? But here's the thing, I get it. This nigga couldn't jump a lick. The nigga can't jump three inches off the motherfucker. Like, I don't know what type of what type of DNA Jordan had. Well, you know Jordan was off that. Jordan was off all that Yak, Jaeger, and all that type of shit. I don't know what type of I don't know what type of pre-cum created this motherfucker right here. He can't jump, he can't dribble. Did you ever see him play basketball? He can't do nothing. That nigga got listen, what when it comes to him, put it like this. Y'all talking about Brawny. When y'all talk about Bronny, y'all just got to remember the OG. When it comes, y'all talk about Bronny's bad? Nigga, when it comes to motherfucking Marcus Jordan, I can't even, I can't even break his game down. Let me call on the pro to break Did this motherfucking Did L.A. Game give down. up too much right? to get a guy who has Here been first round picks? Here we go. Ready, whether you win a championship or not, this man was go. a bona fide scrub. Yep. He can't. Yep. No disrespect whatsoever, but I'm sorry to, go to tell everybody the truth. The man cannot play the game of go. basketball. He has small hands. He can't catch the ball. Can't he's got it. bad feet. He can't really move, even though he's mobile. Doesn't really know what he's doing. Doesn't have a post move that he, he puts, puts to memory, memory that he can do two times in a row. He has no game whatsoever. Plays no defense. Doesn't have the heart, the passion, or anything that comes with it. And you're asking me whether this, okay. they gave up too much? Please. The Los Angeles Lakers knew exactly what they were doing. They should be celebrating right now, and Kobe <laughs> Bryant should not be. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Yo, Marcus Jordan is certified bum. Now, here's the thing, brother, and I'm not hating. Like, for, for people, like, listen, there's only one Michael Jordan, and there's really only one LeBron, right? Their kids might not live up to their legacies, but if you're born with a billion dollars of equity behind you, multiple different corporations that you could just walk into. He could walk into the, the doors at, 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 at Team Jordan or whatever it's called and instantly say, yo, I'm the boss today. Like, yo, you're Michael Jordan's fucking child. That's, I'm, I just got to show you the privilege these motherfuckers have, right? If the nigga could like, you know, you know, like a half retarded kid just like fucking color some dumb shit. He could just color some dumb shit and it's a colorway and it's going to sell like $15 million in sales. He like, there's no way he should be losing in life. No fucking way. It's like being Hunter Biden. Yo, your daddy's the president. 
Wait, how are you smoking crack with a with a fucking hooker? What was going on? That's what I'm saying, man. These are like all time losers, bro. It's no like, bro. You could take, and, and I'm saying this even though it's a lot of money, but like this is nothing to Jordan. Take fifty million dollars, bro. Go in music. Go sign a couple niggas. Have a label. Like yeah, maybe you'd have some success at music. Go go to another industry. Start a restaurant chain. All this nigga is doing is running after aged, mature pussy and just snorting coke, just wasting Michael Jordan's money and making him look bad. This nigga's a fucking loser. I'm just sorry to tell you, man. Like, bro, how don't you have any type of any type of drive to say my daddy was a great man? Maybe I'm not great in basketball, but let me go show him in this way I could be great. This guy's a fucking loser, man. Add him and Hunter Biden to the list. Bruv, I seen somebody in the comments say, they say, yo, you know, you know you're just a lazy ass, bum ass coke snorter when you can't even go to the bathroom to go snort the coke. This nigga's just doing it right out in the open. Like to keep it real, like it's like he shocked that paparazzi even um um taking a picture of him. No, this is bad, people. And apparently, and apparently he had um. Oh, by the way, I watched Kevin Hart new special. Yo, Kevin Hart. Oh shit, I don't want to give it away. Kevin Hart is shitting on <laughs> on Michael Jordan's sons. Yo, uh, again, well, not special. I, I went to the show, but I think he's gonna do that same bit for the whole tour. And then it's going to come out on Netflix. Yo, he's shitting on um, Michael Jordan's uh, kids. And I forgot why. He said Michael Jordan. He said, he said I think he said he clowned Michael Jordan about his jeans. And Michael Jordan got mad at him. Like, Michael Jordan was like, I don't fuck with that nigga. And ever since then, you know what I mean? He's like, all right, well, fuck you then. And so he started clowning. He was just like, yo, who got the biggest loser sons other than Michael Jordan? I didn't even know there was, there was another one. So you got Marcus and another one. I guess that nigga just kind of stay out of the public eye. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> this is a classic rant. The City of Angels, Hollywood, just should be celebrated. <laughs> Throw a parade already, whether you win a championship or not. This man was a bona fide scrub. He can't play. No disrespect whatsoever, but I'm sorry to call, tell everybody the truth. The man cannot play the game of basketball. <laughs> he has small hands. He can't catch the ball. He got small hands. He's got bad feet. He can't really move. Even though he got bad feet, the nigga can't move. He's mobile. Doesn't really know what he's doing. Doesn't have a post move that he, he puts. Yo, I see why Kwame Brown hate this nigga. This is about Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown hate this nigga guts. And I get it. The memory that he can do two times in a row. He has no game. Yo, he said he don't got a post move that he could put to memory that he could do two times in a row. Nah, I see why Kwame Brown wanted to squabble with this nigga, bro. To memory that he can do two times in a row. He has no game whatsoever, plays no defense, doesn't have the heart, the passion, or anything mm. that comes with it. And you're asking me whether this oh, they hey. gave up too much? Please. God damn, God damn. All right, man. All right. All right. All right. Let's see what 